EasyMap Tools makes it easier to hunt interference using Enritsu handheld spectrum analyzers. EasyMap allows you to create maps that pan and zoom on Enritsu handheld spectrum analyzers, making it easier to always have the right map with you in the field. To fully utilize EasyMap, a registration key, also called an API key, is required. Without an API key, EasyMap allows you to create maps with up to three zoom levels. This is sufficient for many purposes. However, with an API key, EasyMap allows you to create maps with up to seven zoom levels. This level of detail can be a great help when hunting interference as it allows great detail at the tightest zoom levels, yet can cover a large geographic area. API keys are obtained from either Google or MapQuest. For larger free downloads, they ensure that the terms of service are met. Here's how to obtain a Google API key using Google's Cloud Console. First of all, you will need a Google account if you don't already have one. You will need to go to www.google.com and create one. Once you get to the Google search engine homepage, press the blue Sign In link in the upper right corner of the page. Then press the red Sign Up button. Complete the form as requested. The verification number does have a space in it. Once you have a Google account, it's time to log in and go to the URL shown here. Once there, you may need to click on Try the new Cloud Console. Once you have navigated to the Cloud Console, you will need to create a project. You will need to agree to the Terms of Service, then click on Create. This may take a few seconds. Once a project has been created, scroll down and find the Google Maps API v3 selection and turn it on. You will need to accept the Terms of Service again. Once enabled, this entry moves to the top of the page. Next, scroll down some more and find the Static Maps API. Turn this on. Once you have enabled the Google Maps API v3 and the Static Maps API selection, scroll back up to the top of the screen where you can verify that the two APIs are enabled. The final step is to get the Google API key. To do this, First, click on Registered Apps, which is in the left-hand column. Then, click on the orange Register App button. Then, click on the blue Register button. Now, click on Browser Key. Now, the Google API key is visible. Copy this to your clipboard or carefully write it down. It is case-sensitive. Once you have a Google API key, it's time to put it into EasyMap. Open up EasyMap version 2.0 or above and click on Settings, Register API Keys. This will bring up the Register API Key window. Enter your Google API key in the Google Maps API key box. Once entered, you may want to test the API key. Please be aware that it may take a few minutes before Google servers recognize the API key. That's it. You can now download and save maps with up to seven zoom levels from Google Maps. Please be aware that maps with seven zoom levels can be large. They can easily be over a gigabyte as each zoom level has two times the number of tiles or elemental maps as the level above it. You are now equipped with a state-of-the-art map source from Google for your Enritsu handheld spectrum analyzers. To download, visit the EasyMap Download section of the Enritsu website.